What's up, Driving Tells community? I've been doing a little investigation this evening trying to figure out how I can run some power to the inside of the vehicle without tapping into the fuse box under the dash or into the battery. I actually wanted to get into this fuse box right here where the main power comes in. I've got a lot of relays and fuses. And you can see underneath here, everything is powered underneath that. And of course, this additional wiring is for my, uh, my electric fan kit for the radiator. What I wanted to do and I figured out how to do was to get this whole box up and out of the way without disconnecting any wiring. So there's four tabs that hold this thing in. There's two tabs here on the front and then two on the back corners that are identical to these two on the front. And what you do is you pull these little tabs back and it disengages the, uh, these metal clips here. So I've already disconnected it, but it's real simple. You gotta do all four of those. I started with the two in the front and then I got the two in the back. And that allowed me to pull the whole assembly out of the way. What I was trying to do is figure out how the power comes into this box. And I found that at the back here, you can see that heavy gauge wire. And it's covered by this little clip to cover here. And you pull out the clips on each side and it pulls straight up. And that gives you access to that lug right there. Here's a quick look at that cover. You want to make sure you don't damage and it falls off because you can expose a lot of power in there. But... You pull these little clips outward. It goes on just like this straight down. And once you pull those clips outward, it'll pop right up. So I'm gonna run an appropriate gauge wire with a fuse into the, uh, the passenger compartment. I'm gonna run a relay off of that with some fuses to run some additional electronics. Now those aren't real high power. For those of you that are running a super high power stereo, this probably isn't the best solution for you. You probably wanna go off right off the battery since you're gonna be pulling a lot of amps and I'm not sure how many additional amps that, that wire can handle. So anyway, I hope that helps you out, and uh, if it did, please give me that thumbs up, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.